speaker, um, Dr. Mili Arpan Shah. She is the president of Ozone Forum of India and trustee of Bisleri Charitable Trust. She is an expert and educator of ozone therapy. She has a background in homeopathy, counseling, and psychotherapy as well. And today she'll be speaking about how ozone therapy can play a very important role in gut health. A very warm welcome, Dr. Milisha. It's wonderful. Thank to you, Dr. Rogi. This year. Thank you. Uh, so may I share the PPT? Yes, please. I can, I think uh, you can see it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so thank you, Dr. Ruhi, and thank you, Dr. Preeti, for giving me this opportunity to talk about ozone therapy in natural wellness. So uh, we know about so many different uh, options of detox, but how can a uh, uh, oxygen-based therapy be used in gut health. Uh, I'm going to be touching upon it. Uh, I've kept it patient-centric. So towards the end, I will talk about why regularity of ozone therapy is required and how can you get the maximum result by incorporating this into any of your detox way. So it's, it's completely different standalone, but can be uh, combined or integrated along with your standard of protocol uh, so that will be uh, the main outcome uh, of the of this topic now uh, the slide itself ozone is life savior so as we know in nature we have ozone layer and we are all um, having a great difficulty in the atmospheric changes because of the global warming and what saves us from this global global warming is the ozone layer so as we call it ozone oxygen is life giving life sustaining and life nurturing so I, when we talk about ozone we are talking about all spectrum from prevention and to sustain the life before we go ahead we are a group of doctors who are practicing ozone therapy for the betterment of mankind. It is a very cost-effective therapy and a natural way to healing. We've been working in this field for last 20 years and uh, we want to grow more and more. Uh, I personally uh, integrate ozone therapy as a natural way of modern treatment. So it can be considered in naturopathy and when you have naturopathy principles of treatment you have to first of all look at first of all do not do harm so when you are trying to uh, do any work on a patient where the first philosophy should be primum non nocere we nurture vitality, we improve your vitality, we improve your energy status, uh, we want to enhance your metabolic function and mitochondrial function. So look at the vitality and look at the nurturing vitality as a main concept. Rekindle self-healing, which is also very important. We tend to get dependent on so many outside um, healing modalities but why not you look inside you and rekindle your own healing mechanisms so that's what ozone therapy gives you an edge that it improves your intracellular antioxidants and your well-being is in your hand is in your uh, you know treatment is in your hand so ozone therapy works very well as an integrated so it has the nature or your self healing is the most important part which we try to improve and we treat patient as a whole. So when we look at ozone therapy, uh, you need a small shift from a patient or, you know, see today I'm talking about gut, but when the previous speakers have so beautifully explained that gut is not only the gut, but it works on your cardiac functions it works on your metabolic function it works on your skin it works on even on depression so then it is a holistic right you can't treat gut but you treat the whole patient as a whole and uh, i consider there are five pillars to treatment physically 
uh, which is one is good nutrition you need good sleep you need good exercise uh, you need good hydration but what we miss the missing link is good oxygenation and that good oxygenation you need to you can do it with yoga pranayam you can do it with different different um, applications of um, exercise like the high intensity exercise but what can we do for the patients who can't do any of these you need a good oxygenation and then that can be provided with ozone therapy so we treat patient as a whole and ozone therapy is used for the holistic healing for uplifting your whole body now many of time uh, patients when they come to us and they i mean we explain that is is an oxygen based therapy they say why do i need it i am breathing right um i feel um, i know part of my body is sinus so my breathing my um, oxygen utilization or my circulation is fine but when we take them to the oxygen deficiency symptoms now this oxygen deficiency symptoms are prevalent i think every one of us will have it at some point of the other uh, so to give a few example which are these hyperacidity or when you have gerd when you have that is a symptom of lack of oxygen circulation or oxygen utilization bacterial viral parasitic infection in your body or you tend to fall sick with every climate change that is also an oxygen deficiency symptom uh, circulation problem sudden cramps uh, sudden pain um, or after exercising sudden weakness or everything is oxygen deficiency symptom chronic fatigue lowered immunity cold cough flu uh, peep, uh, muscle aches digestion problems gout rheumatoid arthritis and today i think oxygen deficiency or ox lack of oxygen utilization is the key uh, problem for chronic oxidative stress disorders and chronic inflammatory disorders so the root cause for any uh, uh, disease which is not originated with infection but you succumb to infection because of low immunity uh, is because of lack of oxygen and you can improve that coming to the topic of why am i talking about gut balance so um, when we talk about ozone therapy we first need to know why we need to set the gut right because uh, in ozone therapy one of the application is so powerful that it can work it's a non invasive application and it can work by a simple ozone uh, rectal insufflation it can balance your bad bacteria reduce the bad bacteria improve your good bacteria it improves the tight junction of the villi and it improves your intestinal function it enhances your well being and today gut dysbiosis is related to obesity diabetes cancer liver disease and when we look at the holistic healing we look at the cardiac well being we look at brain well being but where do we look at get gut well being that is completely neglected so we need to work on the dysbiosis from the basis of the uh, of the low from the root cause and providing or oxygen improving oxygen utilization is going to be a key treatment for gut dysbiosis and when we talk about uh, embryologically brain and gut has the same origin so whenever you have a disturbed gut you always have a disturbed mind so anxiety attacks depression are also very well linked and um, you know when we were young or few years back why we we were so much about gut healing and we were so much about gut feeling uh, today this gut feeling can be directly correlated to gut brain axis and to improve your gut you can use ozone therapy very well uh, so usually we use the principles of r that is remove repair replace reinoculate and rebalance so when you want to remove any toxins from your body i think ozone rectal insufflation can be really really big role into the uh, detox of the gut also enhancement of the liver and when you are uh, in the 
removal stage then comes the repair which can be of course done uh, with lot of uh, nutrition by, uh, and lot of herbal medicine medication re inoculate uh, would be definitely with the uh, providing good bacteria providing good probiotics prebiotics that is important but the starting phase is remove and that can enhance with ozone rectal insufflation and Uh, what is ozone therapy so many of us ask this question it's a combination of oxygen and ozone given in a particular fashion there are more than 16 different applications of ozone which can be used uh, according to the patient's requirement so it is completely patient centric it is not a one uh, one key for every lock no it is completely patient centric you need to have a understanding of what do you want to do in this patient so there are symptoms uh, that you want to activate the cellular metabolism uh, you want to modulate your immune system or you want to regulate the antioxidant defense mechanism these are the main benefits when you give ozone therapy you find but uh, patient centric well designed dosage is most important and that's where the key of getting best results come in with ozone therapy once we do this we always give ozone therapy in a staggering dose so it is never given a very high dose in the beginning it is always with start low go slow we genuine gently escalate the protocol it is not giving high dose that high bombardment no it has to be a gentle protocol because it's a very powerful tool for cellular detox it can work on improving your intracellular antioxidant defense mechanism so when dr lenny was talking about glutathione um, when he was talking about that it can work in improving your liver we uh, use rectal insufflation to improve your intracellular glutathione which is there present in every normal healthy cell of your body uh, also treating the root cause which i was just talking about that oxygen deficiency and lack of oxygen utilization is the key uh, problem for many inflammatory conditions which could be crohn's which could be uh, which could be ulcerative colitis ips and many more gut related issues uh, liver enhancement is also very very important now today uh, say if 20 years back we didn't see patients with um, fatty liver it was not a common finding uh, on the sonography but if you see today's generation uh, sonography which is a key diagnostic tool which you use for the basic treatment or basic uh, uh, in a, you know seeing how patient is doing well uh, fatty liver is the first sign that there digestion of the fat is not fine that means the loaded liver with mercury toxin or with pesticide or with environmental toxin that needs to be detox and when you give ozone therapy we enhance this completely so when you do ozone therapy it has to be very gentle protocol it has to be done with a proper escalating dose and not to give a high dose in the beginning many of you will ask is it known therapy how old is this i mean we don't have not really heard about it uh, so this was invented way back way back on 1840 uh, the first uses of ozone therapy was published in lancet journal uh, that was in 1911 on bronchitis tinnitus tuberculosis anemia um, pneumonia you can use it for insomnia hay fever Ga- diabetes gout and syphilis now so it includes uh, bacterial uh, diseases at the same time it was including infections and it was also using metabolic syndromes so it has by and large um, application and it can be used very well uh, in holistic healing now today it is practiced across the globe india is also we've been ha- do practicing ozone therapy for last 20 years but when we talk about ozone's rampant use is in europe it is in uh, america it also in japan china 
uh, in Singapore also it is used in North America. So it is widely accepted as a holistic integrated treatment. Uh, when we talk about ozone therapy, it has primarily six benefits when you give it whole, uh, on a systemic application. So when you give a systemic application of ozone therapy, the first and important is ozone helps in cellular redox balance. So there is always a tug of war between the pro-oxidants and antioxidants. Pro-oxidants, which are, um, you can say, sedentary lifestyle, environmental pollution, um, all extreme exercise also is a pro-oxidant. There are many pro-oxidants uh, which can be categorized as external, internal, and physio pathophysiological. And there is antioxidant defense mechanism, which is in the extracellular, that is in blood, and at the same time, intracellular. So when you look at ozone therapy, you are enhancing your intracellular antioxidant defense mechanism naturally, which is your self-healing mechanism naturally. So when you give ozone therapy, it enhances your glutathione reductase, your glutathione peroxidase, it improves your SOD, that is superoxide dismutase and catalase. These are the intracellular antioxidant defense mechanism, which enhances your, or it reduces the free radical stress and improves you mitochondrially. And when you have a better functioning mitochondria, you are at a better health. When you give ozone therapy, it works as a germicidal. So all lower life forms cannot sustain the oxidizing power of ozone. So these lower life forms get destroyed when you give ozone therapy. And it improves you your, um, your uh, infection load. Immunomodulator. So there are many treatments which can stimulate your immunity or suppress the immunity. But your body has a well understood immune modulation mechanism where it brings your body into alert state. So when you give ozone therapy, it improves your immunity as in modulates your improve, uh, immunity. Ozone puts your body from anaerobic respiration to aerobic respiration. So it balances your oxygenation and thus it improves the ATP formation. So that is when you have better ATPs means better metabolism, better enhancement into uh, rejuvenating uh, body parts or repairing your body, cellular body. Uh, it increases your oxygen metabolism. So when you give ozone therapy, it shifts your oxygen hemoglobin curve to a better um, side. So it delivers more oxygen at the tissue level, thus enhancing the uh, microcirculation, which improves your general well-being. So when you give ozone therapy, it has a holistic approach and together it will give you a better result in healing and repairing. So when you give ozone therapy, it can be given by different, different ways. Um, it can be had as an ozone water. You can give an ozone steam sauna. So when you give ozone steam sauna, it will, uh, you will have a better detox from the skin surface. So it will not only be um, the sweat glands, but also the oil. So the skin, which is storing the pesticide or when the products which you use, which has harmful pesticides or the harmful uh, uh, minerals, which can be also detoxed with ozone therapy. So when you give ozone therapy, it improves your oxygen metabolism. It improves or modulates your immune system. It regulates your autocoid and growth factors. Thus, ozone therapy gives you an early phase of a boost in energy. When you look at the late phase of ozone therapy, it improves your nitric oxide, uh, nitric oxide modulation. So your of your blood vessels is functioning better. It gives better uh, circulation. So it enhances your microcirculation. So better uh, utilization of oxygen is there. Ozone also enhances the stimulation of your metalloproteinase. So MP9, which favors the release of your stem cells. Thus, it makes your bone marrow functioning at a higher level, 
having a better erythropoietic uh, uh, mechanism or better RBCs mechanism. When you give ozone therapy, as we were talking about, that it improves your antioxidant defense mechanism. So it enhances your whole uh, full body from repair also to remove your uh, toxin overload. So there are treatments, different treatment modalities when you give ozone therapy. Uh, major auto, minor auto immunotherapies, they work with the blood. You can use it uh, for improve your antioxidant defense mechanism. But what we use for gut, I mean, particularly, we can work on all diseases. But pertaining to the gut, we use rectal insufflation and pertaining to the skin detox, we use ozonated steam, steam sauna. So this can be improved uh, this can be used in a different way. And our protocol is mainly uh, that we enhance the body's ability to detox the residue uh, or the uh, environmental toxin and enhance your antioxidant defense mechanism, regenerate your liver, reactivate your immune system and restore the enzyme and mineral hormone system. So when you give ozone therapy, you are working on the parallelly on different, different aspects together. It's not that it is only working on the gut. It works on the gut locally. It works on the liver systemically and it enhances your body detox and thus it improves holistically. What can we advise to the patient when we give ozone therapy? So you can advise rectal insufflation, ear insufflation and vaginal insufflation. Now, these are the three modalities which can be given as a non-invasive. So patient does not have to be pricked. It just needs to introduce a small, thin cannula, maybe in the rectum, maybe in the vaginal uh, or in the ear insufflation, which improves your head, neck, face circulation. Minor autohemotherapy is the only method where you can have your cell-specific antibodies. So when you have a cell-mediated immunity enhanced, you can fight any disease faster. Uh, these are the three main things which you give as an uh, improvement in total, which works on circulation, also works on the immunity. Intramuscular is mainly for the pain or um, it, it is mainly for improving or giving a local result. When we have a lot of ozone-related products, um, which are skin blossom, or we can give rectal insufflation, uh, rectal introduction of ozonated oil also can enhance locally rectal uh, you know, healing. Fissure piles also can be addressed. So we've been talking about this rectal insufflation. It's an introduction of oxygen-ozone mixture depending upon the patient's requirement dosage and it is given all days. Now, many of the doctors uh, who we talk with, uh, who also do practice ozone therapy, they say that the patient does not is not willing to come for the treatment every day. Uh, and that's what is not giving them the full result with, oz with ozone therapy. Now, uh, here I want to clear why the treatment needs to be done every day. It is patient-centric. It needs cannot be given at home. So you need to come. You need to call the patient to your center. Why? Because it is parental systemic effect. Can you get, can you do something at home which will give you full systemic effect only by, you can consume, but there you are dependent on the absorption from your stomach, absorption from your intestine, but your intestine is compromised. So where is the uh, where is the preparation for the patient? You need to prepare the patient to put them onto something which is anti-inflammatory orally, which is anti, uh, you know, the which improves your GERD, which improves your or probiotic and preverting. You need to prepare your intestine, and to prepare that intestine, you need a detox which is cellular, which is local and which is at the liver. So you need three. So local, which works with ozone, rectal, 
liver because the absorption of ozone is in the mesenteric vein and which opens into portal venous system. So it enhances your liver. At the same time, you are improve your dysbiosis. Your good bacteria and the bad bacteria are getting balanced. And very smartly, I'm going to share a result with uh, you all that how ozonated water and rectal insufflation enhance the gut dysbiosis uh, in some time. Just give me. So you need to do this regularly for 10 sessions. If you do this, if you manage, you can dedicate definitely 10 days for your own self for having a better detox and the results will be long lasting up to six to nine months. You can repeat this once in a year for your own health benefits. It's going to be like a, a what you call it. I look at it as a servicing of your body. It enhances your full spectrum uh, you know, it, it addresses the full spectrum of diseases. It's not only that the gut is an, uh, addressed, but at the same time, your digestion will be addressed. At the same time, it enhances your circulation, modulates your immune system. So it is important to do your 10 sessions together, like a five days a week. And you, it just takes simple 15 minutes. You can give ozone therapy along with that, like an ozonated water. You can, the patients can take home to drink up to six to eight hours when they are keeping this water in the fridge. It also gives you local, um, you know, improvement. Now, ozone water outside is not, uh, it does not change the pH. So pH of ozone water is not neutral. But once you drink that, it releases a nascent oxygen and which combines with your body makes your body alkaline. So it needs to be given at a particular time uh, with that 10 minutes before and after you should not drink uh, or eat anything 10 to uh, 15 minutes. When you give ozone therapy, it needs to be given every day for 10 sessions. Then you can keep them at a like twice a week or three times a week. Do this, it will give you a better result. It is very effective to treat cancer to any chronic diseases. It is very, very, very simple technique. Can be given by your staff, by your... Um, so the doctor has to advise the dosage and can be given by your staff easily. It is a wonderful tool for gut detox. And there is no healing crisis. So you don't feel under the weather with ozone therapy. And when you give ozone therapy, it enhances your signal transduction. So when you, there's a better remote in your hand when you do ozone therapy. And it works on removing the bacterial viral overload. At the same time, it gives you healthy cells in uh, boost. So it, it improves your intracellular antioxidant defense mechanism. And also your lymphocytes are working better and it can have a better uh, result in the complete holistic treatment. So when you give ozone therapy, uh, we have studied uh, the rectal insufflation and we saw that there was increased in oxygen content both in portal vein and jugular vein. And it slowly dilute, got diluted from the jugular vein, but the portal vein had high oxygen content for a longer time and it comes back to the base within 24 hours. That is the reason why you should do rectal insufflation every day for five times a week. You can give two days of high prebiotic after the five uh, sessions of rectal, which has worked on flushing the toxins out, enhance your prebiotic and probiotic for two days. Again, improve your liver further. Thus, it enhances your gut uh, balancing or it enhances the, uh, reduces the gut dysbiosis. So when you work with, with rectal insufflation, it works for large population of of microbiome and it has a better control. So activation of intrahepatic lymphocytes, itocells and cuffer cells. 
GALT activation also enhances. So lymphatic drainage also increases with ozone therapy. It also reduces load from the liver and kidney. So when you are suffering from any chronic condition where your kidney and liver is compromised, you can definitely add on rectal insufflation for these patients also. And by finally, we all know the gut-brain axis and we know that there are billions of secretory neurocytes in gut. When you give ozone therapy, it works fabulously on irritable bowel syndrome. It works fabulously for constipation. It works fabulously for ulcerative colitis or Crohn disease. And also, it has a better uh, result with a stress-induced um, you know, GI or anxiety-induced GI tract infection uh, problems. So when you have anxious anxiety reduced, it can also help very well. Uh, so when we used ozone uh, with uh, rectal and water, it improved the microbial balance very well. It worked on your liver. It worked on your hemorrhoids, fistula. It can work locally and systemically, as I explained before. And it showed that it gives a wonderful result in balancing your intestinal dysbiosis. Um, it works on constipation. It improved the gastralgia. Um, you also for the, uh, you know, actually chronic dyspepsia. It works on abdominal pain. It works on, uh, you know, diarrhea. It can work holistically on many, many gastrointestinal tract disorders. Um, Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I know. I saw the time when you your video came up uh, because I started like just we work on multiple diseases. I just I, I think have few uh, slides to show the result of it. Um, so few results that we work on immune uh, system enhancement. Uh, we worked during COVID time on improving the immunity uh, of the patient. So in in the um, bargain that they did not uh, get infected with COVID and that showed a very good result. So it's a preventive, uh, which was also published in a paper. We work on tuberculosis. The main problem with tuberculosis side effects is the gut, is the liver toxins. And it enhanced this completely, uh, where we showed that the patients of tuberculosis had a low antioxidant defense mechanism. We enhance their antioxidant defense mechanism, thus enhance the, them completely. This was also published. Uh, we get a lot of patients. This is psoriasis, also related to gut malabsorption. Re improving your um, gut will improve your psoriatic condition also. Uh, also, a few of the infection cases and... Uh, Lichen planus, it is again an autoimmune condition. So autoimmune malabsorption of the intestine also can be addressed. Um, and grower's disease, again, and because of the autoimmune skin condition, ozone therapy balances the whole uh, inflammation, uh, oxidative stress, and improves your antioxidant. There is a proper science. There are many research papers, and I think that's the... So you can make your old Cadillac to a new nice Cadillac. And thank you uh, for listening to uh, the uh, this thing. As I say, it can fit because it is holistic treatment. It can be used on multiple. Today's topic was related to gut. So I explained to you rectal insufflation. But we have multiple different, different ways of using ozone therapy. Um, and you can visit our website called Ozone Forum of India. And also we have Facebook and Twitter handles. You can see uh, what we keep doing. Uh, thank you for inviting to give a lecture at uh, Indian Functional Medicine Conference. It's our pleasure, ma'am. It's our pleasure to have you with us today. Uh, ma'am, I'll just take one question uh, from the chat. Why does FDA disapprove ozone therapy? Do you want to comment on that? Yeah, of course, I want to comment that. Uh, and this is a very common question. I get it. Uh, so FDA, it, which is Food 
uh, and drug regulated ozone is not a drug nor a food okay it's a therapy it is given under naturopathy in india we run certification program uh, under um, uh, national institute of naturopathy's flagship uh, it is um, if you look at fda i think many things are not approved okay if they would say uh, actually leaky gut uh, syndrome is also they don't consider as a disease okay if you say gut dysbiosis to a, any um, few of the gastrointestinal doctors i don't i mean they approve but then when you look at this gut dysbiosis problem they don't say it's not a disease i mean what do you think why do you think it is a disease so they don't know they are ignorant and uh, if you look at uh, there are many uh, so if you want to look at uh, ozone therapy go to a google scholar website and then see that so fda i don't consider is um, as any uh, regulatory body for a therapy which is uh, pro drug it is not a drug so i would uh, and any other related to questions i think dr ruhi you must see or let me see you know so um, clearly ozone is approved as a naturopathy um, nat the father of naturopathy with, uh, was using ozone therapy the father of homeopathy was using ozone therapy um, in us uh, dr atkins was, was using ozone therapy uh, so i mean you know the references are multiple yeah. but of course it gets suppressed yeah and uh, alone fda alone cannot be the deciding body you know for approving any therapy or any modality all right yes. so thank you ma'am there are two three questions so if you can you know just stay back yeah, and i'll answer them the in the chat yes the chat. that will help yeah. thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you.